I mean, I can kind of go back to how I felt, and I had all sorts of insecurities around body image um, as a young person, um, and it was clearly because I wasn't represented. I can't, I can't stress how important it is to go into a shop and just see somebody who looks like you. I was very much affected by the lack of representation within fashion and beauty. My friends would tell you I was the, the girl that just would cover up and was never didn't feel beautiful. I mean, the process is still ongoing, but I've come on leaps and bounds in terms of, of, of body image uh, and body confidence. I'm fairly new to modelling, less than a year. I think people assume because I'm older that I, I've been in the game for a very long time, but I haven't. m and that job, I mean, that campaign was incredible. I just thought it was so powerful. I'm just honoured to be a part of it. I had loads of inhibitions going in to the shoot, which were quickly shed. I would say that's probably the first time I felt that body confident in, in my 55 years. I think the representation of real women in that campaign uh, was very powerful. I think, it, I think it's resonated with a lot of people. I think there was a collective sigh from, from my generation, but as well as younger people as well. For so long now, you see something on a model I think, it, I think it's quite damaging, if I'm honest. I think you'll see something on a model, you'll take it home and it looks completely different on you. And we've had so many years of being bombarded with images of what seemed to be the perfect body, but actually is just another section of society's body types. There's, there are multiple body types. And we focus on this one tiny percentage and that's up there and, and we're made to feel like that's how we're supposed to look. But as you know, you're supposed to look the way that you look and that's it. Your genes are your genes. You get what you get. You have one body. It's so important to love on it. There are younger people that have stretch marks. There are younger people that have cellulite. There are younger people that have folds. And to be honest with you, they make, make up the majority. So it's unreal to represent uh, just one type of body type that is unattainable to the majority of people. The feedback from, from the campaign has been overwhelming and, and just all of it positive and, and unexpected as well. I, I mean, I obviously knew that we were doing something important, but quite how much an impact it was going to have, you, you never know, do you, until it's out there. When I was younger, I was most certainly influenced by what I saw around me, and it made me insecure. I, you know, I'm the girl that wore a sarong on the beach and a one piece. Um, because I didn't look the way that society was telling me to look. I can't even stress the significance of it. I think I had all sorts of Im uh, body image issues. I just I didn't, didn't like the way I looked because it, did, it wasn't what was seen to be desirable or beautiful. I think that the majority of people really want to see themselves and, and it's a comfort, if anything, to finally see representation in the way that we've seen, whether that's you know, skin colour, whether that's, you know, hair colour, natural silver, um, and body type, and also age, you know, to see people of my generation, is, it's a rarity, and when you do, quite often, they're not my skin tone, and they're not my, they don't have the same body type as me. For me to be doing what I'm doing, is, it's an honour, and and a win for not just me, but for, for all women. There's no way I would have thought, even six months ago, that I would be doing that. <laughs> just, and even now I see an image of myself and it feels like it's somebody else, it really does. And I think, how, go you. <laughs>